Good to see everyone. My name is Craig Ishi. I'm part of the B2B product marketing team here at Logitech. And today I'm joined by John Stearns from Zoom. John, tell us about yourself. Sure. Uh, good to see you, Craig. Um, John Stearns on the Zoom room, on the Zoom side. I lead our uh, international Zoom rooms and spaces uh, business here at Zoom. Been in the video conferencing industry for about 18 years and uh, excited to be, be here. But today we're going to talk about Zoom rooms. Now, uh, just a little point of clarification here. John and I right now are technically in a virtual Zoom meeting room, but the concept that we're talking about today is a physical conference room in an office space that is natively provisioned to operate within Zoom. Now, one might say, well, I've, I've got my conference camera in there and I can just plug that into my computer. Isn't that a Zoom room? Not the same. There are a number of really, really, really big benefits that we're going to cover today, like game-changing benefits for why a customer will consider provisioning a room to Zoom. And we're going to talk through, I think, six or seven different reasons why folks should consider. So John, let's get started. Alrighty. Yeah. So a lot packed into the Zoom Room solution here. We're going to boil it down to the six topics that Craig mentioned here. Uh, we'll start off with just in innovation. So Zoom's been a trailblazer in the uh, industry for uh, innovations to the conference room solutions, right? The world has changed. So more meetings are hybrid, meaning there's people in person in, in rooms with virtual participants. So a good example of this is uh, Smart Gallery that we launched uh, together over two years ago at this point where we're framing individual people in the rooms and sending multiple video streams back into the meeting with the sole purpose of delivering more hybrid meeting equity, right? Uh, for all participants, for the people in the room as well as the, the folks on the far end. Um, the simplicity of, of Zoom has always been a, a huge uh, benefit to the entire platform, right? And we all saw that during the pandemic uh, with uh, people ages, you know, six to 96, you know, joining meetings without any training. So super easy, not just on the user experience side, but we make it simple on the admin side uh, to go ahead and everything from provisioning to set up and management and ongoing support. Uh, so simplicity is important. Hardware flexibility. So Zoom Rooms, uh, we have an open hardware ecosystem, and we have options, right? Uh, a lot of our customers love the Logitech Zoom Room appliances that are Android-based um, for a lot of their um, physical spaces. Uh, but we also offer a number of you know, Windows-based kits that leverage the you know, industry-leading quality of the Logitech cameras um, that could be connected back to a, Zoom, a computer running the Zoom Room application and then supported with third-party audio and, and, and whatever the, the space needs. Um, so we offer that flexibility, which our customers love. Um, configuration flexibility, so not just on the uh, kind of camera side or the platform OS, uh, but the ability for setting up a Zoom room that may just need a single screen in the room for smaller huddle spaces, uh, two screens, uh, even a triple screen. We've had support for three screen Zoom room systems for quite some time now. We even added the ability to put a fourth display in the room um, that is more of a confidence monitor that faces the presenter. Um, so we're always adding more and more capabilities there. You have the ability to do multi-camera solutions with the Logi cameras uh, in Zoom rooms. Uh, you have the ability to do our what we call our companion Zoom rooms, where you could have a primary Zoom room system there with a um, virtual uh, whiteboard solution that's connected to it. And it acts as one system, one Zoom room license. And you know when you need to whiteboard or annotate or collaborate, you can do that on one device, but we're all the whole system is operating as a single system. Um, interoperability is another huge one. Now we've done a dedicated video around the benefits of uh, Zoom's interoperability that's built into the Zoom Room solution, as well as the hardware side with Logi devices, but that continues to be super important. Um, and then I'll wrap this up with value adds. So we add a lot into the Zoom Room license and the Zoom Room solution that goes beyond the, just the, the physical conference room. Um, so things like digital signage are built into the licensing model. Um, so on the Zoom room itself, you can run signage, uh, you know, employee communications, events, any, anything that you need to. When the Zoom room is, uh, you know, not being used for meetings or screen sharing, you can also extend that to TVs and displays throughout your building. And you can deploy an unlimited number of those with just a single Zoom room license. Um, then we have scheduling displays that typically sit outside of the conference room um, with the new Logi uh, tap schedulers. That makes it easy to see. Um, availability status on a room or a user can walk up and book or book the room for that point in time or later in the day if they need to. Um, those have been really important with this hybrid flexible work world that we're living in now. Um, we have the 
ability to set up virtual kiosks for things like virtual reception or um, workspace kiosks where people can walk up and look at an interactive floor map um, and see what's available for rooms and desks and, and book them right from a kiosk. Um, we also have, which kind of dovetails into our workspace reservation solution. So a homegrown part of the platform at Zoom um, that is really focused around um, reservations. So not only desk reservations, but conference room reservations or other space types, parking spaces and whatnot. Um, so this all ties together and it's, you know, really a, a complementary to the Zoom room solution. And a lot of our customers get a lot of value and additional entitlement when they're deploying Zoom in the in the physical spaces uh, with more that they can do across their workplace to make things easier for uh, their users, again, in this hybrid, flexible work world that we live in now. So we get a lot of customers and both who are prospective and even existing current customers where they've got, say, a television display and you've got a meetup plugged in there. And they say, well, you know, this is this is what our end users are used to, whether it's at home or whether it's in the office. They walk into a space and they just plug in the conference camera and they're good to go. Or they're sitting in a conference room space and they're just going to use their computer right for that particular meeting. But as John mentioned, there just are a number of really important features that are lost when we when we when we when we don't have a Zoom room. One of the 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 best features that I love is just the ability to know if a room is available or not. So John had talked about having a tap schedule on the outside that's connected to the Zoom room system. If I'm enabling that and then also putting something in my calendar and saying, okay, I'm reserving this from 12 to one o'clock PM, that tap schedule is also going to show that Craig's room is booked for that time. And then when I walk into the room, maybe my Laptop is out of batteries. I don't want to have to run and, and grab my cable. I can just join the meeting directly from that meeting room with my laptop closed because a Zoom room is enabling that meeting, again, natively to that physical conference room. I just mentioned two examples. John had mentioned more than six, like 12 different things <laughs> that are important about those rooms. But we really just wanted to showcase the incredible functionality that comes once you provision a room to Zoom. It's just, it is night and day between just plugging a camera in versus the entire feature set that you get when you have native Zoom there. So that's Zoom Rooms. We'll close it out for the day. John, any last things you wanna mention before we finish today? No, I think this was pretty comprehensive in covering the value. Uh, what I would recommend if you're if you're interested and you're not, uh, you know, uh, you haven't seen a Zoom Room in action, reach out to your Logitech and or Zoom account teams. Uh, you know, we have a lot of programs to, to make it easy to see demonstrations or trial, you know, equipment. So. Um, definitely follow up if this seems like something that would add value to, to your organization. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Craig, thanks for having me on as always. Awesome. More topics to come. We're going to be talking with John about a lot of other things that are both Zoom and Logitech in the future, but we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you next time.